Okay, there you saw me installing the T-Tracks. The T-Tracks I'm going to use as the miter slots on this table saw. The T-Tracks are bought on banggood.com, I leave a link in the description. I also leave a link in the description for all the other products I used in this video. Those are affiliate links, so for no cost for you, I get a little percentage of your purchase. As you saw in the end of the video, I did get an error here. I learned again that measure twice, three times is the best way to go. I don't know exactly what happened, but I measured wrong here. So you can see the T-Track didn't go flush from the blade. It's very important that both T-Tracks or miter slots is going flush from the blade. Anyway, on this side I measured wrong and you can see that my first slot was skewing this side and not flush with the blade. As you saw in the video, I fixed this by making a new slot here with my router after I measured that everything was flush from the blade. The table saw is coming along. Next thing I have to do is to make the fence. And I also want to make an extension table on this side. And I want to make wooden wheels for both the wheels. My plan is also to make a new stop button here by 3D printing something and uh, making a solution on that one. So if you're interested in this project or any of my other products, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you some other time. If you like this video, please hit that like button and comment if you have any questions or any other comments. Down below you also have links for the T-Tracks and some other materials I used in this video. That's it for now. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>